Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video, guys. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my recovery from getting all four of my wisdom teeth extracted, pulled out from a surgery. My mouth hurts a lot, so I'm going to be talking as much as I can in this video. But if you, you know, if there's any lulls or any quiet moments, that is why. Let's hop into a game right now. All right, so we're going to be getting into the beginning of a crossroads hardpoint, which is really rare i just hopped into a couple games and i could not find a beginning to one but here we are if you guys didn't know i did get my wisdom all four of my wisdom teeth taken out and i've uh, that's why i actually haven't like had a real video up in a while i've been uploading the youtube shorts which are a ton of fun and thankfully like i had those stored up but you know also today well yesterday for you guys today for me was my first stream back too like well i, so I streamed D. &D that's my first like call of duty stream back and i had to actually take a break and get off because my mouth is hurting quite a bit this is day four of my wisdom tooth surgery uh day f or day four after my wisdom tooth surgery as you guys are watching this it's day five and the amount of pain i mean i everyone said it was gonna hurt but wow like it i mean it hurts a lot i just heard from uh you know from the internet and also from dent that talking i wanted to resupply that talking actually helps like helps with mouth pain or helps with the recovery there dude i am terrible bad right now and in all honesty it makes sense you know that talking would help because you know you're getting your mouth like moving around you're stretching it up a little bit you don't want it to uh, you know it's just like like when i had a uh, shoulder surgery like years ago you know they say you know you gotta do your exercises so i figured you know let's record a video haven't had one in a while just due to like the amount of just pain i mean i've been basically fully asleep like fully fully asleep for the last like four days basically edgar if you guys follow me on twitter there's a lot of pictures on twitter with edgar and i just cuddling because i sleep on the uh our recliner chair and edgar just cuddles with me it's like it's a good time now from what i heard is day three and four are the worst days like post-surgery like for pain wise and swelling wise and all that good stuff so now that we're past day four like you know like right now as soon as this video's done i'm gonna go to sleep we'll be on to day five and i'm just really hoping that uh we're 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 feeling good I'm, i hope we feel good after that because man am i i'm over the pain i i uh have been prescribed some pretty good medication but i personally just don't i don't like it i mean i i take them like i'm supposed to you know so i don't feel as terrible dude i can't aim but it just man i it, i just can't wait to be done with this whole process it feels good to have the wisdom teeth taken out though i mean as much as like that pro uh, dude i have a story to tell you guys for dude there's no way you are just like the best video game of all time bro nine sniper dude so if you're scared of like of wisdom tea surgery or getting like anything to do with the dentist maybe skip this next part okay because i have a story to tell you while i was under so i went under for the surgery i every like a, a few people told me like they were they expected me to go under other people were saying like that's weird that they put me under but i was getting all four taken out two of my wisdom teeth were infected and one of them like the th a third one was totally horizontal totally sideways and then the fourth one was he said like it's not bad yet but at this point since i'm getting the other three taken out that one looks like one day it could like grow like start to grow in like incorrectly so might as well just get it pulled so that's why i got all four taken out and so i got put under and dude when I, this guy's like i got the sniper here i don't like you i don't like you sniper man i'm gonna i'm gonna push i gotta get it thank you uh but dude i as i was under at one point i remember or twice i remember waking up mid-operation once because the dentist was yelling at me saying i need to close my or not close my mouth i need to breathe through my nose and not through my mouth and then the second time i remember waking up like very clearly woke woke up to the sound of him like yelling at his assistant saying that like one of their tools is broke and then i heard him like i felt him like go inside my mouth with his tool and crack the tooth out of my mouth it was the top right wisdom tooth i'll never get that sound out of my head now thankfully i didn't feel anything because like they had me you know under a lot of like uh painkillers and all that stuff so i didn't actually feel the pain of it thankfully but i heard that sound and i will never hello i will never get that sound out of my head ever dude if that's not best play what i just got right there i mean didn't i get a syntax kill on the right and then i killed those two that's gotta be best play i'll literally never get that sound out of my head ever and yes i am running proximity mine i'm only running proximity mine because we're playing pubs and so i'm not gonna run trophy system in pubs just because it's too much chaos anyway you know what i'm saying it's not like people like usually throw their nades and also i'm running flak and tack mask 
And like, I really don't care about how my teammates do. Like, I don't need to protect them with trophies. And we're not playing league play. So I'm just running proximity mine because there's literally nothing else to run. I mean, what am I going to run? Sand turret? I mean, I have ghost on. So what, what, what do you want from me, people? But yeah, so that, uh, you know, surgery is done. Otherwise, other than like my pain, operation went well. Uh, Mrs. Rudy took care of me for the rest of the day. I remember like I told you I woke up twice during the operation and the next thing I know I woke up at home like in in my house in my chair that's like the next time i remember waking up and then i fell asleep again and i woke up that night like the surgery was in the morning and i basically just slept through my entire day dude this guy who collided me earlier the fly guy the sore fly guy or whatever can't hit a shot now like what is happening with you buddy i think the worst part about all this though is just like the fact that i have not been able to really eat anything i went a full two days like a full 48 hours plus some like only drinking like meal replacement shakes basically for food and then finally just yesterday i started eating scrambled eggs because those are like really soft but even the scrambled eggs like as soft as they are like are enough to hurt me like they like actually bring so much pain while i suck so i've been just like mostly doing meal replacement shakes and a little bit of eggs here and there and i can't wait to just eat regular food honestly because wow does like what where there's no sh Wait, I just walked right past that guy. No, you guys didn't tell me. Are you kidding me? Content wise, we are going to be back on schedule as, unless, you know, something crazy happens. Uh, but we're going to be back on schedule with our Monday through Friday videos. And then just, you know, I'm still unemployed right now. And unfortunately, still laid off. So we are going to continue doing our streaming mostly every night for in like the nights we do stream like, until like obviously like, you gotta wait till i'm fully healed but i do plan on continuing my 9 p.m to 3 a.m streams just because you know i'm unemployed might as well but also dude i've been i love youtube shorts and also like my tiktok has also been blowing up a ton so thank you guys for the support over there and we're actually almost at 750 subs right now on youtube which is incredible that is obviously has a lot to do with the success of youtube shorts so thank you to anyone who is new from youtube shorts and sub i don't know why i switched my pistol there i feel like i would have had a much better experience if i stayed on m4 but it is what it is we're just vibing out with the boys right now i'm just shooting speaking of youtube shorts the funniest part about youtube shorts is that every single comment or every not comment every video has at least one comment that says i'm hacking and i'm like bro if you just watched the play like in these videos you would know for a fact that i am absolutely positively not hacking i mean without a doubt not hacking i mean look i mean you guys can see my shots now there's no shot i'm hacking but it's so funny every youtube short slash tiktok without fail there's at least that one at least one usually a lot of comments that talk about that i'm hacking wait is fly eagles fly switch to an ak oh you must have grabbed that who puts an ak outside of the ak setting for you you're crazy Something that's been, like, really fun, too. Like, not even just from, like, the Wisdom Tooth recovery, but it's definitely helped me a lot, like, during the Wisdom Tooth recovery is playing Pokemon Go. I mean, I downloaded Pokemon Go again mostly because, like, when Mrs. Rudy gets home from work, like, she doesn't have, like, too many things she likes to do, so I just started throwing ideas out there, spitballing ideas, and we started playing Pokemon Go, even though she has, like, no like pokemon history at all and she's been loving it and so i've been loving it too like which is awesome but i <laughs> our pokemon are really weak but taylor this is rudy got a shiny before i did she's only been playing the game for not even a month and she already has a shiny i've been like so technically I've, been, I've had my account since the game came out but obviously i stopped for like multiple years but still like i've never had a shiny she got a shiny within the first month of playing the game lucky her i guess but you know it is what it is. I, you know, we've we just been having a good time. I just can't wait for my teeth to fully heal. And also, uh, for an update, also, like, so since I'm unemployed still, like, since I got laid off, as you guys may or may not know, we were supposed to be moving the summer, but that might actually be changing sooner rather than later. And so I just want to give you guys a heads up. If that does change, we might be moving to an area that we, like, we're not expecting to since it's, like, not part of our original plan. And if that happens... I have no control over like if we're actually gonna have good internet or not so i just want to give you guys a heads up now that there is a chance that within the next like few months we move and if my internet is like poor like poor internet like you know not good speeds my plan for that is go oh, i barely went positive my plan is always going to be like i will forever be posting on the youtube channel because you don't really need good internet to post youtube obviously you need good internet to like upload the youtube videos but worst case scenario I can upload the videos like ahead of time the streams might slow down depending if we have bad internet but it's also 2021 so i truly don't see a scenario where wherever i move there's not good internet 
I'm not putting too much thought into that though or like negative thought into that I don't think you guys should like really worry about it I just want to give you guys the heads up that we are trying to move we have like a lot of plans if you're in our discord or on twitter or you fall or hang out with us on twitch i talk about it all the time like our housing situation and we're excited about it but you know there's just you know think like you know sometimes life just comes at you like you know sideways i, I didn't mean to keep the camera sometimes you know life comes at you weird and you just gotta figure out what you're figuring out so i just wanted to give you guys a heads up we are going to be trying to move in within the next month is the plan and like i said we're gonna take what we can get and hopefully the internet is going to be good. It should be. If it's not, though, YouTube will always be here no matter what. Because, like I said, I can just up, I can record ahead of time, upload ahead of time. We'll be good to go. The Twitch streams would be the only thing potentially taking a hit. But once again, it's 2021. I really don't see a scenario where anywhere I move doesn't have good enough internet unless I move in the middle of nowhere. But we'll see what happens. But thank you guys for hanging out and watching today's video. It's been a while since, you know, it's been like four. So Thursday was my surgery. So yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now it's Monday. So it's been a few days since I got to record these videos. So it's nice to be back. Thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe on your way out. We're almost at 750. That would be awesome if we can hit 750 today. Let me know, or even just this week, well, then maybe today. Te te text all your family members. Text all your friends. Let them know to sub. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.